38, and in March uh, 29, uh, Peter Minuet, who is one that we all learn about in fourth grade here in Delaware, uh, came ashore, uh, purchased uh, some land, uh, and raised the uh, Swedish coat of arms, uh, and basically called this uh, New Sweden. And this was the first uh, settlement to the colony of New Sweden uh, here in, in, in this part of the world. And the rector of the church, where'd she go? Um, the rector of the she had to leave. She, she had to leave. All right. So the, the rector of the church here was just telling me she's only been here for eight months, but she was telling me that uh, every church, every Sunday, every church service, she typically has between six and ten uh, tourists from Sweden, and that for folks uh, from Sweden uh, looking to tour the United States, uh, this is destination number one. And I think that's an uh, that is you know it's an honor for us, but it's also a responsibility that we keep in mind, that the, 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 the implications of this place go far beyond uh, Newcastle County, and there are still people in, in Europe and in Sweden, and uh, I guess in, in Finland as well, who are looking to us and sort of just, they want to make sure that we keep this place up and that we uh, continue to play, uh, have this as a place of some dignity uh, where they can come and where it's clear that we're honoring our past and helping our children understand that past so that they can uh, uh, you know, live the right way as well. So it's, it's delightful for me to be here today, uh, even with this weather. And thank you so much for the invitation. And I'll, I'll leave the proclamation. Everyone, um, County Executive does sincere regrets. He's actually um, kicking off a race for a fallen firefighter. We lost in the county just a couple months ago. It's to benefit her daughter. So that's where he's at this morning. He has to come. It's really an honor to be here with Governor Claire and all of you. Um, I have to admit, I have never been to this park before. I haven't been to the Calabar Nickel, and I lived in Delaware for a long time. So I think this organization is really serving its purpose with events like this. And I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to learn about it um, and to join all of you, regardless of the weather. Good morning. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought we might be again. They fooled me when I walked out of the celebration. But anyway, uh, it's great to be here and it's great to celebrate history. I think we all need to celebrate all of our histories because it makes America, it makes who we are as a people. And I really like to thank the governor for being here and the county executive representative for being here to recognize this. And I think most of you were here in uh, 1988 the celebration here and the king and queen came down the river and landed again and took off from here and we had a long celebration of that. Uh, I remember the queen, she was really beautiful. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, but uh, it was a great ceremony and, and having the troops fire those old weapons and, and all that celebration was so great. Most of you know Kalmar Sweden is also one of our sister cities. We see people that celebrate, uh, uh, hide behind here, that are always celebrating, uh, bringing over delegations from Kalmar. <laughs> and and uh, we send people over there. Since I don't fly, everybody loves to get to know me because then I can send them over there uh, in my place. But this is a great day and a great celebration. What hopefully will happen in, in future is that uh, Tom Carper has been working on getting funding to make this a national park area down here. It would be great if we could expand and go all the way down to the shipyards and make this all one big area that people can really enjoy and understand the history. Uh, the city, we own most everything on this side of 7th Street, so if we ever get the chance to do it, we can go somehow through that wall, not destroy it, but uh, go through and, and connect everything together. And I think if we hang in there a little while longer, we'll see this great project taken off and come together. I have a proclamation also, which is similar to the governor and the county executive. And uh, you're the ones that should be congratulated for being proud of your history, celebrating your history, remembering the people, because I wouldn't have never got on those ships. <laughs> I, I looked at those ships and... Oh. And you look at how they had to guide the ship. That Those ships then were by a long stick. They didn't 
have uh, the wheel? No. <laughs> Has any ever been in a storm on the ocean? No. <laughs> so they had to be very, very brave people to give up what they were doing and to come and have faith in God that they were coming to a better place. So thank you all for being here. And thank